If you are one of those people who are mystified by uh, the court system and maybe a little fearful of it, you might want to take advantage of this court college uh, that is now being put forward by the 26th Judicial District, which essentially is Mecklenburg County. Exactly. Pamela Escobar joins us right now with regard to uh, this program. Um, I have worked with others on this, and I think it's a terrific program because um, I come from a family of people who are mystified by the court system uh, and who are fearful of it. You know, they, they, they enter into it thinking, well, as soon as you step through that door, uh, you're never going to escape. Well, a lot of people who come to the courthouse every day don't want to be there. We understand that. This is an opportunity for people to learn about the court system, the judicial branch, and understand how it works under no pressure. Yeah. You're not there because you have to be there. Court College is something that you're interested in learning about. Uh, you're interested in meeting these individuals who have dedicated their lives to administering yeah. justice. And you get to go and see it uh, under no pressure. So, so when you say individuals, are we t who, who are we talking about? Are we talking about judges? Are we talking about DA or assistant DAs? Are we talking about uh, some of the guards, et cetera? Absolutely. So from law enforcement all the way through to, to staff. So the sheriff's office participates. You also meet um, police department. You will interact with people in my office, in the trial court administrator's mm -hmm. office, the clerk's office, the district attorneys, the chief public defender as well as our judges. Uh, you'll understand why they do what they do, how they get to those decisions, and what they're doing every yeah. single day. You have to be confronted by, and I mean no offense by this, mm -hmm. but you have to be confronted by a general segment of the population uh, which believes that as soon as they enter into the court process, they're going to be taken advantage of. They're going to be, for lack of a better word, screwed. Well, this, it is a complicated system. The reality is, is it's a system that's created for people, lawyers, to go through school for three years before they can even actually work in the building. But what's interesting about Core College is you'll learn about services that we have there to help you, people okay. who are working there. For example, we have the Self-Serve Center. It's an opportunity if you have a civil case for you to learn some information and possibly file a motion so that you could represent yourself. So there's lots of different programs in our court system that are meant to help people, but a lot of people don't even take the time to learn about them because they're yeah. just scared um, to come in. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but uh, for the judicial district, is it fair to say that it is not the job of the people there, it is not the intent of the people there to get as many people as possible behind bars, it is the intent of the people there to try to find ways in which people can get out of the building and get back to their lives. The goal of the judicial district and of all of the judicial branch is to administer justice. We want justice for all and that takes forms in many different ways. Um, the objective is not to put all people behind bars. I mean penalties are range and they're for different Sure. for different reasons. Sure. So um, when people come in for something as simple as a traffic ticket, sometimes those things can be dismissed. The reality is, is that you can, um, there's a lot of different outcomes that can happen when you come to the courthouse. Yeah. And so, no, there isn't a goal of anyone yeah. to, to put someone behind bars. The goal is to administer justice. And so you, you'll meet all these individuals in court college whose yeah. goal is to do just that. So this is taking place Friday, January 11th. Uh, there is an application fee. Uh, there's a website, uh, bit.l2peoxsl. Anyway, that's a long one right there. The easiest um, way to find us is if you go to nccourts.gov, yeah. you go in the search bar, you type in Court College. The deadline for applications is January 11th, and yeah. it's going to be a seven-week program. You come Tuesday nights, you get to yeah. hang out with me and other people yeah. who work at the courthouse. Yeah. It's a great opportunity. Yeah. I will say as well that uh, we're running a little long here, but I will say as well that you know I've written a couple letters with regard to some uh, traffic violations, and they were dismissed just simply because I explained what happened and uh, the DA's office said, yeah, okay, that sounds reasonable. And you also served jury duty, right? And I did, multiple times. And I'll tell you, it was a fantastic process. 
Yeah. So anyway. So for people who don't have the opportunity to serve in a jury but want to learn more about the courts, this is a great way to do it. Okay, Pamela, thanks so much for joining us. Happy New Year, by the way. And thanks. Uh, I think this is a terrific program, and I hope people take advantage of it. That's our end of conversation for today. Right now it's time to check in with the weather on the Lums Forecast Center.